making chicken and dumplings, but I'm taking a few shortcuts. First of all, I'm going to chop some carrots. If you use organic carrots, you don't need to peel them. You just need to wash them real good. I am not using organic carrots today because Mama's grocery broke. So you cut it in half this way. You always want a flat surface. And then you line them up like little soldiers and slice away. Now remember, the bigger the slice, the longer it's going to take to cook. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to this pan. I'm gonna throw these carrots in. That doesn't even have to be hot. It's gonna get hot. It'll all work out the same way. So I'm gonna chop one onion. I'm gonna add these onions right in it. Now what I'm doing here is called for sauteing. I'm going to cook until it's soft. Make sure you guys can see that these old. So these are getting soft. I like to season as I go. So I'm using kosher salt. I'm just giving a good pinch here and some fresh black pepper. Now I'm gonna grab that stock. Made stock is just so green. The color of that, delicious. I'll repost the video on how to make your own stock. This is simmering away, all good. Now I'm going to add my cream of chicken soup. Now this is the chicken that I pulled from the rotisserie chicken yesterday. How to take the chicken off the bone easily and how to store the carcass so you can make that delicious stock. Also tips like this, one whole rotisserie chicken equals about four cups. I'm gonna use about half of this. You can use the breast, the dark meat. Rotisserie chicken can go a long way, especially if you add it to soups, rice dishes, pastas. This is already looking so delicious. And now for the best part of chicken and dumplings, the dumpling. Today I'm using these Reams homemade flat dumplings. They're so good. If you can't find them, you biscuits and chop them up into quarters. Put all these notes on the recipe. Oh, look at how cute these are. Like little baby dumplings. Love it. All right, so I'm just going to add the bag in here. Dumplings have to heat through, but that is it. Oh my gosh, it's so good, so delicious. Number one thing the students in my classes don't do is taste. I'm going to give this a whirl. That's delicious, but I am going to add a little more pepper. So good. So, so good.